All right, so it's now time to add uh, an interface here. So let's go to the add subjective and let's add an interface. So I'm going to add a form, of course, and the method here should be post. Now it's possible that we may need to add an image. So let's change the ENC type to multi-part slash form dash data like so okay and then here i want to add some form components so this is the question itself the question could be long so the input type should be a text area like this let's give it a class of form control and uh, yeah, that should be, let's give it a name as well. Name is question. And then the other thing we may need is just the, um, the image browser. So refresh, and there we go. So this one is question. So let's put a placeholder and say question type your question here a single question okay so type your question here and then I think with bootstrap we have let me look at uh, forms yes mm -hmm. let's look at form control let's see here if we can see something interesting I want to look for a file browser Okay, so file input, this is one of these. No file selected, multiple files input, just this one is good enough. So let's copy the first one, copy that, and uh, wait a minute, wait a minute. Hmm, I think there's one way I can put a label or something. Uh, maybe not on this one let's try input group so down here let's see there should be one if I'm not mistaken mm, these are options here file input yes this one right here so Let me select the very first one. I think this is much better. Paste and let's move this over. Okay, cool. Let me also add a label here just in case. Uh, just say question like that. Mm -hmm. And then instead of upload, um, yeah, maybe upload an image, something like that come back here refresh okay so upload an image uh, maybe not uh, upload an image let's just put image there it should be enough let's also put an icon uh, let's try class uh, fa fa picture let's see how that works image but it seems uh, my uh, this one doesn't work. Let's try image. Ah, much better. Okay, then uh, maybe we can also add. Let me see. The label is good. The label is good. Question. And then I want this to be to have some space here. So I'll put PT for padding top and put maybe four. Let's see here. Okay, so we can leave some space there. And then finally, let's add that button, the submit button and say, uh, add question. Uh, let's say save question. Okay, and of course we'll need some classes here, uh, button and button, uh, danger that should do refresh okay 
So there we go. So we have a question. Let's also do uh, auto focus here so that it immediately gives us the focus that we need once we click. Okay, save question. We also need a back button. So only difference is this one, let's put type. Actually, instead of here, we can just go down here and copy other buttons that we already have that have links with them. So copy this one, come back here and um, let's put this one right here. Boom. Okay. And this one should be back in case you want to cancel. So let's see here. Uh -huh. Let's see, cancel and primary, that's okay. Uh, save. That should be fine. Let's refresh. Ah. Why is it so small? There's buttons small here, so I'll remove that. And uh, this one, let's try left. Yes. <laughs> What's that? Left. And then I want to float this to the other side. So I'll say float and and then let me put that clear fix div. Otherwise things will start floating. Let's see that in action. Oh, surprisingly, nothing is floating, so we are good. So you add your question here, or you can go back. So let's see where back is really. What's the link here? And this is single test, and then the test ID. That's it. So to go back, we just need single test. And then instead of the class ID, we put the test ID. We don't need to know the tab at all okay so refresh let's try again add a subjective question back apparently that didn't work why hmm. wait a minute wait a minute why isn't this working Wait, 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 wait. Uh, oh, this is a button. So what should happen is let's change this to type to button because what it's doing is that because it's inside a form, it's refreshing the page before it can move the link. So if you tell it that it's a button and not a submit, uh, things will change. So if I click back now, yeah, we can go there. Click and then finally save okay and back and add okay so let's try and save this okay so we have no uh we also need the uh, the errors here if any so let's come back to the error checking thingy if we go to add one of these add ink we should have this part that has errors so let's just copy this we don't need that anymore we can add this here okay like this okay cool then back to single test in the add subjective <coughs> it's time <coughs> i'm losing my voice here it's time to check if something was posted. So we're just going to say if uh, count post, yeah, like so, is greater than zero, then something was posted. Now, if uh, there will be times when um, you just need an image and actually no you always need a question even when there's an image so i think we'll leave that be so if this is greater than zero then something was posted so what we need now is the questions class 
so I think let me shortcut it like this it's way too long questions model so quest and now we just need to do a uh, validation now instead of going through this process again I should have something that I already did here with uh, let's look at schools let's see yeah so that validate or else errors so copy that from schools and we can paste it here like so okay so instead of school we'll replace that with quest so let's change all references there boom okay so now the redirect here should happen um, to the correct place so this one should go to single uh, underscore test view and then slash the test ID yes so dot we will have an ID there so I'll put ID there like so so inset and then we add a date good what else do we have quest validate post if everything goes well we add that so it's not just the date that we want it's the question as well so let's do question and let's do post question here oh wait actually we don't need to do this sorry about that we already have the question in the post so back here let's see what other things we need we need the question type so let me copy question type mm hmm what else date user id will be there test id will be there so it's just the question type so question type here we know because we are in this particular uh, function which is subjective so we're just going to call this test type subjective so one two three four five six seven eight nine ten hopefully that's enough for our column and then finally we insert and then redirect that should be easy enough so let's see if it actually works so what is the process by which plants make energy from sunlight so this is a valid question so let's save that question and see what happens save so we are back here i'm assuming that everything went well let's click browse okay things did get saved only that we have a few problems so everything else is cool choices answer subjective image the question but the test id was not added and that's because i needed to add the test id from here so let me do that so say test underscore id and this will just go to the ID itself okay cool so let's get back here I like to start from scratch so let's truncate this table careful not to truncate the wrong one and let's go back to browse let's go back and add a subjective question I had copied it so I can just paste save question and let's get back here okay so things are much much better now so we have a date, we have the correct answer. Everything is cool. So let's add another question so that we can at least have two questions. Um, we can say that uh, which year did Zambia get independent? Or oh, independence. Let's uh, change that. Let's capitalize that. And finally, let's add save question cool let's see what we have now two questions test id different questions same user subjective question very nice so in the next video let's see how we can display those questions that we have saved so far